Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Tire dressings, glossy, matte, satin, water-based, solvent-based, high-tech ceramic ones, monster durability ones, quick and easy ones to apply, wet-looking ones, dry-looking ones, all sorts of looking ones, but there can be only one. Let's get stuck into this test and find out which one is gonna win. Before we get started guys, how are we marking this test? Quite simply, four main criteria. One is value for money based on cost per litre of the smallest retail size offerings. Use a similar amount per application on all of these products, but the cost per litre is a solid way of doing it. The next marking criteria is the most consistent finish. We'll not be marking them on if it gives you gloss, satin or matte because that's personal preference. We'll tell you what they do, but we'll be marking on the most consistent finish that gives you a fresh dress look and a product which is also tolerant to being a applied to a tire which isn't perfect because tires can sometimes be patchy and stuff like that. So some products can need intensive prep. Others you can sling them onto a tire which isn't too well prepped and they can do well. So we're factoring that in as well. The next thing, it's general ease of application of these. Are they a nightmare to spread over the, over the um, car? Do they take a long time to dry? Do they run everywhere? Are they a slimy, horrible mess? How easy are they to work with? Are the bottles good? That sort of stuff, which is a very important factor. And finally, guys, durability. How long do these products last? So we are taking some high-tech darkness metering equipment from our friends at Rowpoint Instruments we're measuring the darkening effect on these, and that's factoring in on, on the finish test. But we're also then gonna monitor how these products maintain that finish after each cleaning cycle. And the one after four cleaning cycles over one month where the tire is left outside with the best consistent darkening effect wins the durability test. And that is all of the test criteria. So test one, value for money based on price per litre, and I'm gonna use this test to also introduce the products to you and their product claims. The most expensive product in this test is the Optimum Tire Coating. And I'm just gonna hold up my precise <laughs> bit of paper. So the first thing is this has got all the product information. It claims a matte finish. It also claims in the product description to shine and protect. It claims it lasts months, doesn't tell you how many though. I know it's, it's hard to say. And its price is 19 pound 95 for 236 milliliters approximately, and prices may vary. But if you translate that as a price per liter, that comes in at a whopping 85 pounds per liter approximately. This is also one of the water-based products in this particular test. So, Long lasting durability, expensive product with a matte finish is a sort of early summary. Next up in this sexy bottle, even the coloring's nice and the shape of the bottle is nice. Very good branding, Q2 Tire from Gion, the Korean based company. Now let's just have a look at some of these product claims. Claims a deep matte finish, which we'll talk about later on. It claims it's an SiO2, so it's not just a sort of silicon dressing, that most of them are. This is a sort of specialist material, an SiO2 protectant. Doesn't make any other claims other than that though. Uh, it claims it takes 15 minutes to apply and after leaving it for 15 minutes, you can blow it with a hairdryer if you want to increase durability. You're going to get some funny looks if you're hair drying your tires. <laughs> but I, I can understand. So there's a little, that's a unique thing. So I'm mentioning it. Mentioning it. The product costs £13.50 for 400 mil which translates to approximately 34 pounds per litre. So it's the second most expensive, but there's a big drop down between this and the optimum product. Let's move on. Next we have Sonax Extreme Tire Gloss Gel. Gel Brillante para Nueva Ticos. Hey, eh, we've gone into Espanola, eh? It's got a cool little nozzle here, so it takes away the gel from the bottle, so you get less kind of product on the bottle, which is slippery and greasy, which is actually nice. It's a good touch, that is. Let's just get back in focus. Here's my fact sheet. Claims wet look, protects, preserves, um, and when it talks about preservation, specifically around color fading and cracking, which is the only one to make those claims, 
It says it lasts several weeks, which is interesting. It costs $14.95 approximately for 500 mil, giving a rough average price of around 30 pounds per litre. So that is the Sonax Extreme Gel, and I believe that it's a solvent-based product. Next in this test is the Meguiar's Endurance. This product claims a high gloss finish, long lasting, less mess, less drips, and less product on your driveway. And because it's a gel, it claims to save you money. The product costs 14 pounds for 473 milliliters, which is approximately just less than 30 pounds per litre. I also believe this is a solvent-based gel. And next up, representing the UK, yes, you've got to recognize the branding, guys. The Autoglim high-performance tire gel made in Great Britain. Okay, so this claims a satin high gloss finish. So two different types of finishes, satin to high gloss, based on whether you leave the product on the tire or whether you sort of wipe off the excess. It also claims long lasting and depth and shine. It costs around £11.20 for 500 mil, which translates down to £22 per litre. So it's actually the fourth cheapest in the test. I also believe this product is a solvent based gel. Next up is the Auto Finesse Satin Tire Cream. The only one that's advertised as a cream, not a gel. And it is like a cream. It claims a satin finish, guys, as its name suggests, an as-new finish that lasts up to weeks. The product costs £8.95 for 500 mil, which is a fantastic £18 per litre, and it's come third in the value for money. So Auto Finesse sometimes get described as a scene brand, you know, um, and scene brands are usually thought as, of as being expensive. This product is really well priced and it's come third in this particular test on the value for money. Finally guys, this product is like a kind of creamy emulsion as it describes, so I'm unsure really, I'm even to have a guess on whether it's kind of water-based or solvent-based, and it doesn't tell me, so I'll just say this one looks, quote, in my opinion, like an emulsion. Next up in second place with value for money, is the Turtle Wax wet and black tire dressing that's in a spray bottle. So it's slightly different to most of these other ones. It's spray on. It claims wet and a deep black finish. Instant to you, so it's kind of rapid. You know, you spray it on and the results are instant. You haven't got to kind of work it in or whatever, or wait. Um, long lasting spray, walk away. Uh, and the product, the, the product, the product costs seven pound 50 for 500 mil, which is a fantastic 15 pounds per litre. And I believe at the back it says contains hydrocarbons. So this is actually a solvent based product like most of them in this particular test. And in first place on value for money is Tax Systems coming out of Korea. And this is called Tax Systems Seal. Now this is a concentrated product. Let's just go through the basics. High gloss, concentrate, so when you want to use it on your tires, you have to dilute it down to one to one. You're, you're not supposed to use it neat according to the instructions. It's water repellent, contains UV protection. It costs £10.95 for 500 mil, but its cost per litre for, to you is £10.95 because its minimum concentration use ratio is one to one. This is also not just a tire dressing. You can mix it down one to five, I think, for like things like wiping over leather or dashboards inside, or one to three for exterior plastics and stuff. So it's a multi-purpose dressing, but also a tire dressing. And because it is a concentrate, it gives you fantastic value per money at its minimum concentration, which is one to one of around 11 pounds per liter. This product, as I may have mentioned, is also water-based, obviously, if you're gonna mix it down with water. One other thing on price before we go on, guys, the consumer, the consumer information. The average price per litre in this test of detailing products was £30.65, pence, approximately. So two products were on average the same as this, two products were more expensive, and four were cheaper. So big kudos to the ones that were cheaper. No kudos to the ones that are exactly the same, although it's nothing bad, it's average, isn't it? 
The ones that are more expensive, Gion is a little bit more expensive and Optimum is massively more expensive to the point if you actually removed Optimum from this competition, the average price per litre would drop by eight pounds down to 22 pounds. Always know roughly what the average cost per litre is for any genre of detailing products and I try and give you that information. So there's your consumer information. <laughs> Never do humour. A final summary of all of these products, guys, and then we'll announce the winner. We're gonna do this very quickly. The Tax Systems product, an overall summary of it, it's the most versatile product in this test, and it's the most cheapest by a long way. You can water this right down, use it on leather and dashboards, engine bays, any sorts of plastics, and it restores quite well. It's a versatile product, but as a tire dressing, it doesn't last as long, it's not as consistent, it's a little bit patchy, and that's so important to have a good finish on the tire dressing, so it hasn't won this particular test. Next, the Auto Finesse product, very well priced, has a premium feel. If I was blind testing it, I'd say this was the premium product out of all these, because it's so well emulsified, goes on the tires nice, but the Achilles heel for me is it doesn't last as long and it doesn't have that darkening fresh rubber effect that some of these other ones have so it's not quite prolific enough but it's a decent offering these are all credible that's why they're in the test so we're separating them on tiny things the turtle wax product again like these two other ones is a very affordable low-cost product the ace card as i've said you just you don't have to bust a gut you just spray this on you wipe off any overspray that gets on the alloy. Very easy to do, and you can have this applied in seconds. It makes the tire look wet and black, but the trade-off is that you get a better darkening effect and better durability with the ones that, you, some of these other heavier ones that you, you have to spread a little bit, or might cost a little bit more. So that's the Turtle Wax. It's a wet and black looking product. Next, the Mugwire's Endurance. I remember when I first started using this, I was so impressed with it. Really high gloss, very good darkening effect, and it stays on the tire for a long time and ca carries on giving you that darkening effect. The downside is it doesn't dry. I wish it dried, so it's always slimy. It does attract dirt. It can be a little bit more difficult to apply because it doesn't dry, so you've got to manage the excess and don't leave any of the product in the little tire things or it can sling out. It's a Marmite product, but if you like the things that I've just talked about, it's got a few strengths. This is a bit of a powerhouse, a brute. <laughs> Next up, guys, Optimum. Now, you know, I love the brand Optimum. I've done a brand review on them, so only the cream to the cream get a brand review. Um, it's an interesting product. The killer for me is the £85 per litre. The value exchange is all wrong at that point. Now I know Optimum are gonna say, yeah, but you get loads of durability out of it. Here's the thing, even if you take a trade tire paint and paint your tires black, that paint will probably be on there in six months time, but it doesn't matter, because you need to dress your tires. If you want, I've got to say, say it again, if you want the fresh dress look, then you have to fresh dress your tires. And Optimum will then probably say, well, we have one that you can use every single wash you know to give you the fresh dress look then what's the point of this you know all the other claims and it's not making loads of claims beyond long lasting shine but if it was most of these claims are hard to test generally with the car cleaning products you know and they are kind of anecdotal unless they're independently tested for me but this is a funky product and it is lasting so i've been very hard on it because it's so much more expensive than anything else in this in this uh, test, but it's kind of clever. Brian from Big Detailing World was telling me about it, said it's different, you want to have a look at this one, and I'm really glad I got it in the test, because it is different, that's what I want. So if you like the sound of what I'm saying, perhaps the most durable one, matte, easy to apply, but less prolific, and you will still need to reapply and redress to get the fresh look, so I don't think it's quite worth the money. That's a very personal kind of statement. The best way to rephrase it is, once all these are gone, I don't think I'll be going and buying this one after that. But very interesting. Now next, the Sonex Extreme, the front runner, the best looking dressing on application in this test. Great bottle, average price. It's got a massive Achilles heel. It could have won, it could have been a contender. 
its Achilles heel is it doesn't have the detergent resistance. It doesn't like bond and it just washes off the tire too quickly. So it's got poor durability. You can test all this for yourself. Um, but I still kind of like this. This one I could see myself potentially buying again. Although the reason I wouldn't is because these other ones I'm going to talk about are very similar, but just don't have that Achilles heel. So a good effort, but not quite there because of the Achilles heel. Now, this is the second place in this test. It's expensive, okay? It's the second most expensive, but the average price in this test was 30 pounds or something. And this was like, what, 34 pounds. So for an SiO2, you know, dressing, which SiO2 is, you know, the ceramic technology that you pay a bit more for. Well, it's not that much more difference, really, is it? You know, so it's not gonna break your wallet. You know, it's a little bit different. I think it does everything well. I think it will give you a nice finish if you put if you apply it properly and you get the hang of how to apply it, which isn't that difficult. Just put a bit more on. Hair dryer it, unfortunately, which some people won't like, or just leave it a bit longer. I think it lasts well. It darkens well enough. It's a steady eddy that's done everything well. Does it help keep the tire clean? It doesn't claim to, by the way. Just says it's an SO2 protectant. So the downside, perhaps, is that you, I want more claims from it. Does it repel dirt and contamination? Because it's got you know, some form of SiO2 in it. Well, they're not, they're not claiming that. So if you're going to put the high-tech ingredients in there, give me the bling. Give me a hope. Give me a hook to, to hook me in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So Gion are perhaps guilty of underselling it. I want to know what the benefits are to the SiO2. You know, say it on the label. The American brands are great at doing that. Well, that's German. <laughs> you know, the American brands will give you all the kind of, when you're reading the blurb, oh, it does that, it does that. Some of the other companies were guilty of not perhaps doing the sales stuff. You might like that. Leads me on <laughs> to the winner of this particular test. You hear me say quite often, the one that wins has to do everything well. This pretty much looks as good as any of them in the test. It's up there with Sonax, very hard to tell the difference on application. Um, good looking tire dressing, it does dry. It does dry, it's, it's not that wet looking after it's dried, but it, it looks nice, it looks like fresh black rubber. Um, the durability of the product is good, it doesn't wash off. Okay, it's not quite as endurance, it's as endurance, endurable as Meguiar's endurance, but it's okay. And another thing is uh, 11 pounds for the bottle. I think it was third or fourth something like that will cost, but well below the average price per litre of a tyre dressing in this test. It's done everything well, and it's probably the one that I, I can't find a flaw for. There's no flaw, and it's good. On the black peril, you could see the difference between this and the other dressings as well, and that section on the black peril even looked cleaner. It, it does look it, but it's not that conclusive enough. Um, but it looks great it, after sort of like a month of lots of driving. That section of the tyre, that half ring of auto glim, long lasting tyre gel, or no sorry, high performance tyre gel, the tyre is still looking good. Um, yes, I'll probably want to dress it the next time I clean the car, but it's still looking good. And that's really what this is all about. It's about a product that you can sling on the tyre, that's not too expensive, that dries off and doesn't attract dirt, that looks good, that darkens the tyre, gives you a fresh rubber look. That is the winner. <laughs> so this has been a really good one for me. I wanted to get this tire, best tire dressing video ticked and done off on the channel. It's very important. And that's the results, guys. So let me know in the comments how you feel about this, what your favorite product is. And uh, thank you very much. I'm gonna end this video with a little wrap up. Thank you as always for watching and supporting the channel. Massively important. Take care, have a wonderful Christmas and New Year, and I'll see you soon. Bye. i